If you want to avoid any kind of new pointer exception issue inside your Java code, Optional is a mandatory API that we should explore more. But even Optional has several pitfalls. Today, let's talk about the biggest mistakes around Optional and how we can avoid them. Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for you who wants to become an ultimate engineer, a person who wants to achieve the best practice exploring the open source because doing a better job and be a better engineer is not optional. If you want to know more, please subscribe on my channel. Let's start talking about the mistakes around optional. So let's create here a silly sample around person. Um, I will create this class here. This class has the name that is mandatory. So everybody as person should have a name. And the city where this person were born was born so the city and also my drive license so driver license because i can have a license a drive license right however this one here is not mandatory therefore i might or might not have a drive license the, and we need to return this information somehow. The first mistake that we usually do is don't use optional, of, of course. So I come here, I put together. Once this drive license might be or might not be, you can use optional here. So the first mistake, again, is not using optional. So explore optional when you can so this way here right now by code i know that the name is mandatory so everybody as person should have a name the city is mandatory however the drive license i might not have is optional so explore the optional and avoid the mistake so mistake number two mistake number uh the next mistake is use off. Uh, if you are not sure that information is there or not there, if you're going to use off, I will return a, a new point of exception. Please, if you are not sure, you can use the off nullable. This way you have the protection. Another one is around of course. Uh, you got some inconsistency inside your API, for example, return a new value where I need to validate. So, for example, here I will create my uh, person test. I have my person here. I will create should return driver license okay and the first mistake when talk about this is if i need to to validate if my license is not new and then do the validation on optional it make more difficult for me to to check the new point of validation. So make sure that every time that you have optional, it should return an optional instance. Otherwise, there is a bug inside your API design. Another issue inside the optional design is use the, the get. Why? Because basically you are not validating that. So you just change the idea of new pointer exception. So you did a new pointer exception 
2.0. So instead of return a new point exception, you are returning no such element exception. Instead of that, explore thousands of methods inside optional. So you can do if present. So if it's present, I will uh, log this information. So I will do my system out print alien my license here or you can you can say okay if my if my person want to drive and this person has not drive license I can throw an exception so throw an exception where I will create my exception here so like it should have a license for drive so I'm validating my drive license this way if uh, the person does not provide a license, I will throw an exception. So explore the several methods inside optional instead of do the get method. The get method should be the last, I mean, the last resource that you can use, okay? Otherwise, basically what you're gonna do is exactly what you did this in the past, right? Because what's the difference between license, is not equals new and then do something like this basically what we did was license uh, is present and then do the operation right there is no difference here if you take a look you just put more a, a wrapper inside the optional uh, the proposal here is instead of do any kind of thing like this explore more the methods like I'm doing here so in this case if I want to drive if there's no license I should throw an exception or uh, I can return a value or something like this so I can I can okay if no present consumes from something uh, or else return uh, a new value from my follower and so on you can do a map if present or else so you can consume something so if it's there you're gonna consume or else do something else okay so you can explore the optional API instead of use get okay just to summarize what I explained today what I talked about today around the, the mistakes around optional API the first one is uh, don't use the optional when the field might have the information or not. So right now, I clearly know that the name is mandatory, the city is mandatory, and the driver license I might not have. The second one is uh, make sure that the optional has consistency inside. So every time that I return optional, it should have an instance of optional. Otherwise, I need to check if that is optional instance and then do the validation. So I make more difficult. And the third one is avoid as much as possible use the get because or if present because I it you you look like the same, right? So license is not equals new or license is present i just put a wrapper on that validation instead of that you can use the conditions inside optional that's the idea for today hopefully you enjoy please let me know what your thoughts around optional api because it's a great api you can explore to make your code easier and understandable for more people you can test you can get consistency around that and as you know if you have any questions and thoughts, I'm here and I'm glad to help.